Uh, Sister Esther, I think you had a testimony, yeah? Amen. Let's welcome Esther. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to give a testimony about what the Lord's been doing on the streets. So um, in this new year, we've started going out on the streets, evangelizing again in Oxbridge. And it was our first time this year yesterday. And so uh, it was me, Tony, Danny, and a man named Chris, an evangelist um, from Nottingham who joined us, and Steph joined us. And um, so we bumped into uh, two peculiar men. I think you'll remember Steph sitting on a bench. And um, they came to me with a very uh, confrontational subject, uh, subject about homosexuality. And he said, we're in a relationship. <laughs> to, to, yeah. And so what, what, I, what I said to, I didn't want to, I felt like God was telling me, you know, what, these people are like Herod, you know, King Herod when Jesus stood before King Herod, before he was crucified, and King Herod was testing Jesus, saying, do something, you know, do something to show you are Messiah. We'll say something, and, and you won't have to die on the cross. And it's like um, the Lord was showing me, don't do something. Don't say something about that subject, because King Herod had an assignment to ruin Jesus' mission. If Je it's funny because it's like it makes sense for Jesus to, to prove who he was in that moment. But King Herod would have said, no, nah, forget it. He's a Messiah. We're not going to crucify him. And it would have ruined his whole mission to die for our sins. And Jesus showed me, you know, don't, don't go in with that subject. Just say, look, I'm going to give you the gospel and you can take it or leave it, basically. Because that's normally where repentance comes from. When you learn about the love of God through the gospel, then, then you think about what you're going to do with your life. So we ended up sitting with them. And um, it was quite interesting. Uh, the one at the front was very loud, uh, very boastful. <laughs> and um, the one at the back was very quiet. He, and he looked like he was trying to sabotage the conversation and what happened in front of me was so interesting. They started to fight. They started to swear at each other. Like, shut up, I'm asking her a question, shut up. <laughs> My question. And you're in a relationship. <laughs> and um, what happened there, um, God revealed to me that night, is that God did that. He made them argue, he said it was me that was making them fight and bicker like that. Uh, and he sh showed me, um, because while they were fighting, it seemed like the one at the front who was loudest was the one that was really wanting to know Christ. But it was the one at the back. He wouldn't, he wasn't given a chance by the one at the front. He was being told to shut up all the time by the one at the front. The one at the back, the Lord showed me, the one at the back was the one that was crying out the most to God and he said that um, well the Lord said to me that the one at the back was coming to a point of seeing the light of Christ as we were speaking to them and that the one at the back because God was showing me in a vision uh, that um, basically he was, his heart was crying out for change and that he showed me that he wants uh, to it's like he wants to come out of that bondage to being you know, homosexual um, every day. And he was, God was using the fighting to show him that he doesn't love you. This is not love. Actually, it is just lust. And it's like God was opening his eyes as he was being opposed so harshly by the boyfriend. So, um, yeah, I just want to. Uh, tell you that and to share with you what God is doing on the streets when we left they said you know we, we hope to see you again um, I think that's a good sign because uh, it means that you know they want to have a chat about Christ they want to know more about Christ so I just want to tell you that so God bless you thank you Take care. amen thank you Esther thank you so much 
God is really doing something in the streets of Oxbridge with our evangelist team. I love it because they come back with these amazing stories and testimonies every Sunday. And you can see, sometimes there might be one or two of them, but so much is happening. There are souls out there, so many souls that are crying, that are desperate for a move of God. So thank you, Esther, for sharing. And thank you to you, um, Stephanie. Billy, Eve, Tony that go out on a regular basis into Oxbridge and do evangelism. So let's just give a hand clap to our evangelist team because they are really doing a good job when they get together and go out. Amen. Hallelujah.